Hello, in this video I'd like to show you something I think is quite interesting and, and overlooked with regard to the Arduino is the fact that a lot of people seem to be thinking of and using the, the whole board as being the, the Arduino and controlling their devices with it when in fact it, it's really a prototyping device it's to make plugging in re and reconfiguring really easy programming the chip via the USB from your computer also really easy but the heart is is this chip um, so I've uploaded onto this board the blink um, sketch which is probably one of the first ones that you do uh, it, it's not that interesting in itself but it does show that you have programmed this chip to blink this LED once every second and the next thing you might do with it is to get a little LED looking at the pins the short leg to uh, ground and the long leg to 13 is. there we go the chip's tough as old boots I just plugged it into the wrong one and it it didn't mind at all it's so got a nice bright LED flashing in sync with the the little LED down there I don't know if you can still see that so now I've got the controller controlling that LED through the board but the board is pretty superfluous we unplug that unplug that and if we pull the chip off so that's gone we don't need that anymore and with the chip just check where the dent is and plug itself into a breadboard so now we have our Arduino if you like our chip our Atmel chip on a, a breadboard all it needs is because we're only flashing the LED we don't need analog power so we just need digital power which if you Google for a pin out you'll find that it needs 5 volts on number 7 we'll put that in upside down not a problem change that around so I can get my numbers number 7 red number 8 is ground Boom. and we need a clock so we need a little crystal you can program the, the chip to run without a clock but our crystal goes on uh, 9 and 10 so that's the next two along easy to go in diagonally with that bone because the, the legs on the, the crystal are slightly further apart than the, the normal spacing on the other side of the chip uh, we can plug in our LED again long leg to pin number 13 which is actually 19 on the the chip so that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Bump. And ground is uh, three across from there. One, two, three. So there we go. Um, I am going to use this board again simply as a power supply. It's got a power regulator and built in that takes power off the USB. So I just need to plug it into. 5 volts and ground so all we've got coming from the Arduino board to the chip is its power supply plug in and hey presto we have now taken that circuit off the board the board so perfect we can put a new chip in there reprogram the chip to do or program the chip to do something reprogram that chip to do something whatever we want it to do and it doesn't have to live in the Arduino board um, and just to prove because we've got a few seconds left unplug from the, the Arduino board still got no chip on that get rid of that and bring in some batteries just four rechargeable batteries as up nicely to just under five volts and we go positive and if you can see, boom. And we now have a completely standing alone Arduino running off four batteries. So hopefully now you'll realise that you don't need to buy a new one of these every time you want to do this. 
um, please like and share and comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thanks a lot for watching bye